If you're heading to Walt Disney World soon and want to know how to get around, you've come to the right place. Hi everybody, Vacationer Kiki here back with you. And today we're going to be talking about those insider tips and tricks for getting around Walt Disney World that you might not have thought about. And as always, if you're looking for free help to plan your next Disney vacation, reach out to us at vacationer.com slash YouTube. We can't wait to help. Now, as you probably know, Walt Disney World is a very big place and there are conveniently a lot of free transportation options available to you during your vacation. Now, if I could just quickly ask for your help to sprinkle some pixie dust on that like button you'll really be doing me a huge favor thank you so much now let's go so let's get right into it so you've just arrived at Orlando International Airport your vacation is about to begin and you're so excited and you want to know your options for getting to your Walt Disney World Resort and since the Magical Express is no longer shuttling guests to their Walt Disney World Resort there are a couple of different private transportation options including mirrors and sunshine flyer that you can take for a fee. Of course, you're always gonna have the option to rent a car at the airport, but if you don't need a vehicle for the entirety of your stay, your quickest and most economical option for getting to your Walt Disney World Resort is going to be Uber and Lyft. Speaking of rideshare options, there are a number of Lyft and Uber pickup and drop off locations throughout the Walt Disney World theme park parking lots. If you don't feel like taking a bus, monorail, Skyliner, or boat to the theme parks, and you just want to get back to your resort quicker at night, that's an option for you as well. Now moving on to those free Walt Disney World transportation options that we mentioned earlier. First, let's talk about those Disney buses. Each and every resort at Walt Disney World is going to have the option for you to take the bus to and from the four Walt Disney World theme parks as well as Disney Springs. The buses run approximately every 20 minutes, but beware of those arrival times because they're not always 100% accurate. You're always gonna wanna give yourself about an hour to an hour and a half to get where you need to go, especially during peak travel times, which is an hour before the parks open to an hour and a half after the parks close. While the Disney buses are super convenient, they may not be the quickest way to get you where you need to go. So next, let's talk about some different options. In no particular order, but in a particular order, because this is my favorite way to travel in Walt Disney World, the Walt Disney World monorail. The monorail will take you directly to Magic Kingdom and Epcot, and you can get it at three resorts, Polynesian, Contemporary, and Grand Floridian, as well as the Transportation and Ticket Center. And speaking of the Transportation and Ticket Center, or TTC if you want to sound like an insider, this is where you'll be parking on your Magic Kingdom days if you're driving. Uh, no parking directly at Magic Kingdom. You'll be taking a ferry or the monorail over to the Magic Kingdom for your park day. Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom, yes, parking is directly at the park, uh, but parking for Magic Kingdom is located at the TTC. Also keep in mind, this is where you're gonna transfer monorails if you're hopping over to Epcot from the Magic Kingdom monorail line. Now let's say it's the end of the night at Magic Kingdom, everybody's rushing out of the park, you look to the right, the monorail is just absolutely packed. The best way to get back to your car at the TTC is by ferry. These lines move very quickly because the ferries can hold a lot of people, so that's going to be your best bet for getting back to your car at the end of the night. Now for those folks who don't usually have a car at Walt Disney World, let's talk about those different options other than the bus for getting around. My second favorite mode of transportation at Walt Disney World is the Skyliner. The Skyliner is able to take you to Hollywood Studios and Epcot through the International Gateway entrance and is located at Pop Century, Art of Animation, Caribbean Beach, and Riviera Resorts. Now, after the parks close, the Skyliner lines can get pretty long. So I'm gonna tell you a couple of different ways to get you back to where you need to go that might just save you a ton of time. Sometimes the quickest way to get where you need to go is your own two feet. One of the great things about the monorail resorts, aside from the monorail, is that you can walk to and from Magic Kingdom from them. So that's Contemporary Resort, Polynesian, and Grand Floridian. With Contemporary and Grand Floridian being the closest, Polynesian is a little bit more of a hike, but it's still doable. And if the lines for the buses or the monorail are just too long at the end of the night, you always have the option to walk. Additionally, you're able to walk from Hollywood Studios to Boardwalk Resort, Swan and Dolphin, Yacht and Beach Club, and the same goes for Epcot, with Beach and Yacht Club being closer to the International Gateway entrance. Speaking of Hollywood Studios and Epcot, if you're staying at one of the resorts near these theme parks, you're probably going to be utilizing the water transportation or the friendship boats. 
These boats offer service to and from Epcot and Hollywood Studios from the following resort hotels, Disney's Boardwalk, Beach Club, Yacht Club, Swan, and Dolphin. This is also one of my favorite ways to get around, and these boats do arrive at about 20 minute intervals, the same as the bus. Also, for those families traveling with strollers, a helpful note, you do not need to fold up your stroller on a boat or the monorail. Buses, yes, but the boats and monorails, no. Now let's do a quick breakdown of your transportation options by resort. As we mentioned earlier, bus service is available at all the Disney resorts to and from the four Walt Disney World theme parks, Disney Springs, and the water parks. You'll find monorail service available to you at Polynesian Resort, Grand Floridian, and Contemporary. On the Skyliner line, you have Caribbean Beach Resort, Pop Century Resort, Art of Animation, and Riviera. Within walking distance of the Skyliner, you have Beach and Yacht Club, though just not directly located at the resorts. And finally, you'll find Disney's boat transportation available at Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground, Wilderness Lodge, Polynesian, Grand Floridian, Boardwalk, Beach Club, Yacht Club, Swan, and Dolphin Resorts. Thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video. If you liked it, please sprinkle some pixie dust on that like button, share, and subscribe, and drop a comment below and let me know your favorite way to get around Walt Disney World. And of course, as always, if you have any questions about getting around, please don't hesitate to reach out to our authorized Disney vacation planner agents over at the Vacationeer. We are so happy to help. For more, please visit vacationeer.com slash YouTube. And remember, if we can dream it, we can do it. Bye for now.